What is going on everyone? X and Shadex here for Rum and TP and I'm back again with another YouTuber statue tutorial. Today we have Doc M. Uh, we're starting finally the second to last row here of the Minecraft statues. So, if you'd like to check it out, Doc, it's going to get dark here by the way because I started, I decided to start this like at the very last bit of day. Uh, but if you'd like to check out Doc M's uh, uh, freaking YouTube channel, can not think of the word. If you want to check out his YouTube channel, um, link will be in the description as well as the link to the video in which all of these were made. And please go check that out if you have not seen it. It took... Uh, so long to make these, and we put in such an effort, it was just an awesome video. So, and it did very well, and Doc M, uh, loved it when he saw this, if I remember right. He commented on it, liked it, it was just, it was great. So, um, yeah, if you liked it, you might like it too. Also, something to add before I hit the sack here and go to sleep, so we can start a new day, is this is actually Doc M's older skin. Um, fairly, fairly older. I believe it's changed at least once or twice, uh, since then. So, I mean, this is not like an up-to-date skin, um, but, uh, yeah, it was pretty detailed. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Let's go ahead and sleep, though. I believe we can just go ahead and go to sleep. Let's go to sleep right here. This line of beds. A bunch of torches there. I need to get rid of those. No one saw that. All right. <laughs> so, here we are. Let's go ahead and start with the dimensions now. The legs here are 8 by 4 by 12. The torso is 8 by 4 by 12. And the arms here attached to the torso or, or aligned. And they are 4 by 4 by 12. And hang on. Uh, there we go. And uh, head here is 8 by 8 by 8. With no hat effect on any side of him. It's just incredibly, incredibly detailed. Um, something I will say about this guy. He is very hard. Um, it was very hard to film this. He's very hard to make. This is one of those, like, uh, proceed with caution uh, skins. Because, uh, yeah, he is uh, pretty dang detailed. So that's just like an, ad uh, an advisory for you. But I will take my time, and I will take time to go through it all, so don't worry. So, starting off with the legs here, the front at least, the majority of this is totally black. Like shoes, front of this, all black. Um, until you get to the very top there where you got some gray um, and a line of white. Come right here to this side. I'm going to also be a little bit quick because I, I don't want to take forever. On simple stuff, I'll do that, but okay. Um, on here, uh, you can see the majority of this is still black, at least on the bottom. Then the lab coat comes down and it's kind of like white, um, and light gray, and then the outlining there is kind of like with stone. So that is uh, pretty simple. Then we start getting into the detail here, this insane detail of the lab coat. Um, so the bottom there is obviously gray, or not gray, but uh, black. Um, it is uh, four layers of black. So four layers of black, and then you have the lab coat here, and uh, it is... Man, it's like almost half white and half light gray, with uh, a little bit of stone detailing there, as you can see. So it's not something too crazy just yet, but uh, a bit of detail already, as you can see. <laughs> and then uh, this side of the legs is the exact same as the other side, so just mirror that right across. Okay, now for something very intimidating looking. My god. Whew, we got colors here, guys. We got colors... We got colors on colors. This is insane. So, where do you even start? This is just like a mess of white and light gray. And hey, you can see it that way. It's just a mess of light gray and white and stone. It's like scattered everywhere. In the very middle there, it almost looks like a, maybe a shirt or a tie. I don't know. That's gray and uh, black. And then obviously you can see the hands there. Um, that's where the creeper skin kind of comes in. That's... Uh, green and lime. Why am I moving? I don't know why I'm moving. Um, it's green and lime. A little bit of gray there as well. But yeah, I don't think I'm missing any colors here. Stone, white, light gray, gray, black, green, lime. It looks like we got everything. I mean, my gosh, just those colors scattered everywhere. <laughs> Alright, coming to this side. Um, same colors, exact same colors, except no black this time. A little bit more lime, just a couple more blocks of lime there on the bottom, as you can see. A little bit more green as well. But the majority of it is actually, this time, uh, white and light gray. Um, if you want to count this as a side and, you know, not really see that, it has no stone or gray either. But you can see there's gray there and gray there, but that's actually just from the front view and from the back view. 
So if you really want to count this, the side has uh, no stone or gray. Interesting. All right, here's the back of it, though. This is, like, where it is ripped, and it's it's very, very wicked-looking. My god. So there's more skin showing of the creeper now. Um, that is still, you know, gray. Or, not gray. <laughs> still green and uh, lime. Uh, a little bit of gray there. Light gray. The majority of it, actually, this time is, in fact, a white. You can see a lot of white here now. Actually, this, this view is a much, much better. So you can see a lot more white now. Um, there's still a lot of light gray, though. Um, and uh, gray as well, and black there in the center. Gray is kind of speckled out as well. And then there's kind of like some stone detailing just every so often scattered in there. Um, of course, both arms are the same. So when you rule out both arms and you got those both done, um, and you're good. Actually, I just realized something. Um, there should be a gray thing right here. Because if both arms are symmetrical, then right there should be a gray block. I don't know why I just noticed this. There we go. So, now it is symmetrical on both sides. There. Alright, now I'm happy with that. Okay. Making it... There <laughs> we go. Alright, and then of course this side is the exact same as the other side. Just showing that real fast so you can see it. Alright, now. Time for the face. The face has a lot of colors here. Um, it's half creeper, half like Terminator robot. So, uh, it's pretty interesting making this guy. So, he has like hair on one side... Nothing on the other. On the side, that's like a cyborg or a terminator. Um, you see the majority of it is actually stone. There's a bit of light gray and gray there scattered in. Um, just kind of for detail. And then you have the eye itself, which is red and nether brick. And then on the half, that's the creeper. He has hair. And the hair is spruce wood. The creeper skin is green and lime, of course. A little bit of white there. And then he has, like, I don't know, glasses in the mouth or whatever. And that's uh, just plain black. Really cool skin, though, I have to admit. It's probably one of my favorite ones, even though it's, like, the hardest to build. It's probably my favorite one out of all the Minecraft uh, skins, all the Minecraft YouTubers, so. Right, here we go. Side of the head here is uh, all spruce wood. Uh, the eye thing, or the glasses, I guess, kind of come back a little bit, and that's a little bit of black. And then you can see the majority of it is just uh, creeper skin, which is green and lime and light gray. A little bit of gray there in the very corner, back corner there. Nothing too crazy, though. Just kind of colors scattered about. Here's the back. You have a little bit of gray here, just a little bit, and then the rest of it is totally, uh, it's totally um, spruce wood. So you just fill that all in, and then of course this side is uh, definitely not the same as the other side. This is where like the creeper and the terminator meet on this side, the robot side of the head. This is where they all meet. Um, so. You have obviously the gray and the light gray and the stone and I think even the black there that comes off of uh, the Terminator side of it. And then you have the creeper skin that kind of shows through. Um, and even the hair of the spruce wood. So the hair is spruce wood. The skin of that creeper is also uh, green and lime, of course. And you have a little bit of gray there as well. So um, a lot of colors on this side. Kind of like the same. It's almost the same as the... Uh, actually, yeah, all the colors used here except for the spruce wood it's the same that you're going to use for the uh, like torso and stuff so and here's this it's just all like spruce wood pretty much filled in on the top um so yeah and there you go you have made doc m after probably a painstaking journey you made it you you did it if you made it to this point proud of you you can proud of yourself proud of your world for having this beautiful thing in it now it's a beautiful german guy <laughs> so there you go um, yeah, if you guys have any requests, go leave them in the comments, because you've got the YouTubers, or skins, or mobs, anything really. So, uh, yeah, just leave your request, comments, and we'll cipher through them, see what you want us to make. We'll probably try and make that as soon as we can, so. That's it for me, guys! Thank you for watching, and as always, I will see you for the next one.